Hi, I'm Ben Covington with the Ag and Biosystems Engineering Department at Iowa State University. And today I wanted to take the opportunity to talk to you about harvesting down corn efficiently and safely. With the storms that have rolled across central Iowa in the month of August, one of the things that really comes to mind is how are you gonna be able to get your crop out safely? It's easier to assess your situation by using aerial photos or drones in order to be able to see what the crop looks like. This is a good way to identify certain areas of the field that might be standing better than others, as well as to be able to look and find possible debris that could be laying lodged in the crop. Now the next step is to be able to go through and set up your combine accordingly. One of the key things that we're gonna to need to have this year is a functional fire extinguisher. We're gonna be bringing in more crop material than we usually are, and there's a very good possibility that there will be foreign material in your field that can easily be brought into your combine. Obviously, one of the most challenging things you're gonna deal with is, is getting that corn up into the head. A few easy things you can do. First of all, get rid of your, your ear savers. Um, that, that's gonna be an area where you're gonna hang material up. Uh, secondly, on your gathering chains, normally we set the gathering chains offset from each other to pull the ears in. Uh, in this case, you want to set those gathering chains so they're, so they're point to point and can help you pull that stock and other material into the feeder house of the combine. Let's talk about a few tips that you can use to improve the settings on your head to get as much material as possible into the combine. Uh, first and foremost, you want to try to flatten the head as much as possible so you reduce how much height that stock has to come up as it gets into your cross auger. Most headers allow you to do this mechanically to be able to level them back out. Now let's talk a little bit about the cleaning shoe and some other combine settings to consider. In a normal year, very little stock material comes into a combine. The majority of that is processed at the head and only the ears flow back into the combine. Uh, this year, in a condition where we've got a lot of down corn, uh, there's going to be a lot more material, a lot more stock material that gets pulled into uh, the combine itself. Uh, that's going to do a couple things. It's going to force you to change your normal combine settings and be prepared for that additional stock to happen on your cleaning shoe. Uh, you're likely going to be running fan speeds much higher than you, than you normally would in corn in order to effectively uh, clean and process that, uh, that material. Avoid harvesting through waterways, dips, and gullies as much as you can. If you do have to go and harvest them, go at a slower pace. A slower pace will help ensure that the head does not dip and dig on one side or rise up over crop on the other. Take breaks when you need them and as many times as you need them. This harvest can and will be very stressful both emotionally and financially for many Iowans this fall. The Iowa Concern Hotline is a 24 hour a day, seven day a week, confidential resource that anyone with concerns or questions about farm finances, crisis, and disaster response and personal health issues can call. If you have any more questions about harvesting down corn this fall, don't hesitate to reach out to your local county extension agent. Thank you for watching. I'm Ben Covington with Iowa State University.